My name is Kristen, and we live in Georgia. We've been here about two and a half years, and I'm now serving as a Foundations and Essentials Director and a Support Manager in our area. I believe that just about anybody can be equipped to teach their own children. It doesn't mean we automatically are, but um, like you said, the team of four in our lives is, number one, the Lord, who gives us the foundation for everything we're doing and keeps us encouraged. And then we have our tutor or our director, our challenge director, our student, and then us as parents. That makes up the team of four. And all of us working together are going to produce an amazing young person who's just got unlimited potential for the Lord's glory. But God enables us and equips us to carry out this responsibility that He's given us to do. Um, he, his expectations for us are not such that He's not going to equip us to do those things. What's that statement you said about the vision and the provision? Yep, that God doesn't give us the, 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 the vision without the provision. and He calls us to it, He can call us through it. Exactly. That's exactly, I mean, my faith rests in God more than anything. That He can equip me, and He brings people into my life that equip me. And so I feel like He's brought CC to us to equip all of us. And if, if you're a mom who is um, intimidated because of maybe your academic background, God is bigger than that. And you can learn right alongside your child. Your oldest child is going to go through those challenge levels and learn. And you're going to learn right alongside. And you're both going to finish together. And, and if even, I mean, if you retain 50%, if your child only catches half of what they're going to learn and challenge, that is still so big. There is so much there that that can benefit them through their lives. Um, I find myself encouraging a lot of moms who have little kids I mentioned that earlier. It's hard to homeschool when you feel so drained from being up with babies night after night. And I've been through that. I've been through a decade of baby birthing and nursing and sleep deprivation. And um, and now it just seems like, poof, that decade is over. And I'm in a new season of life. And so I'm more rested. I'm more refreshed. I'm more encouraged. And everybody is going to get there someday. I mean, I, there will always be those moms who are still having babies at 45 that maybe need that rest. But God knows what your needs are. And um, you're going to experience seasons. And in some of those seasons, you're going to feel so inadequate. And that's okay. You're going to make it through that. That's going to pass. And that baby is going to be older one day. And you're, you're going to just be able to treasure each season with your child and through the, the life journey that the Lord has laid out for you. Just keep at it. Stay faithful. Pick up encouragement where you can. Don't be too prideful to receive encouragement from somebody in your CC group who has it. You know, there are so many great mentors in our group. There are so many moms who have plowed this journey longer than I have. And I feel so uplifted after a phone conversation. I had a long talk with with the Foundations and Essentials Director at the campus where I do essentials the other day. And I just get off the phone with her, her feeling so uplifted. You know, her challenge one kid is doing so great. And I can do this too because she's been in my shoes and I'll one day be in her shoes. We can just all encourage one another. So don't stay to yourself. You know, some it, it's overwhelming sometimes to think, my house is a mess. My kids are a mess. I don't have my act together. I don't want to let anybody in. I don't want them to see the real me because it's humiliating. But there are no Donna Reeds in any of our CC campuses. We all have our moments of weakness, and we can be strengthened one, one, of the, one another's weakness and use the things that God has put in our toolboxes to go forth and serve other people, even our failures. My husband has a message, don't waste your wasted years. Again, I'll refer to Moses. Moses did have some wasted years where he just fled to the wilderness and, and wasn't able to actively do anything for God. But God used those years to give him that burning bush moment and to to prepare him for what was ahead. And eventually his failures, even though he didn't personally make it to the promised land, look how many people did as a result of his work. And God has a path for you and he's going to use other people's failures to help you. He's going to use your failures to help others if, if you'll just allow that to take place. So there are moments of discouragement for everybody, but just keep plugging. <laughs>